Mass is a measure of the amount of stuff an object contains. The SI base unit for mass is the kilogram, symbolized kg. Mass is essentially a measure of the number and kind of atoms that an object has. This spacecraft has a certain mass. It has a certain amount of stuff that it contains. How much that spacecraft weighs depends on where it is. If this spacecraft is on the Earth, it has a certain weight. If it were to be on the Moon, it has a different weight. And that's because weight is a measure of the pull of gravity on an object's stuff. So weight is certainly related to mass, but it's not the same thing. It depends on this acceleration due to gravity, which we symbolize by the letter G. It's a number. And whatever that number is, is going to depend on where your object is. On Earth, the value of G is about 9.81 meters per second squared. On the Moon, the value of G is a different number, about 1.6 meters per second squared. An object's weight, you can see here in the equation, definitely depends on the mass, but it also depends on the location of that mass. The typical SI unit for weight is the Newton. And here are a variety of objects that have pretty much fixed masses, but their weights will depend on where they are located whenever we weigh them. Weight is one example of a force. A force in general is a push or a pull. And here are a variety of different forces that we encounter. Tension in a rope. Gravity, of course, is a force. Friction between two surfaces. A magnetic force. When you were a kid, you might have played with magnets and you realized that they exert forces on each other, sometimes without even touching. Springs exert forces. Springs can push or they can pull. Gravity, for example, cannot push. Gravity can only pull. We get forces from waves. Weight, of course, is a force. And all forces have the SI unit newtons.